Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we are here for another versus video. This this one is not for uh, about two pens facing each other, but about two traveling ink bottles from two different brands facing each other. We are talking about the Visconti traveling ink pot or inkwell against the Pinider portable pen filler. We have I have uh, made two different uh, reviews, one of each of the these little things, and now I just wanted to show you how uh, how I see them or how I compare them. First, let's see some. The, the first thing that uh, I think of is this one is fifty five euros and the Pinider one is only 20, so there is a big uh, difference in price. Now, let's see which, what parts each one brings. The Visconti brings a very big instruction leaflet, very comprehensive and it's easy to, 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 to check everything out. It brings a, a nice old style uh, eyedropper made of glass with rubber top and you have the inkwell here it has the my fake ink inside in this side we have and the box is just for holding the pen holding the inkwell here we have the pinider portable pen filler and inside what we have we have We have instructions, much smaller but also very clear. These are in Italian and in English and those and that one are is in much more languages. You have a small pipette, not as fancy as the glass one from the Visconti, and the inkwell, which is shorter than the Visconti, wider also than the Visconti. This size allows for this bottle to carry 10 milliliters of ink, which is... Uh, 10 milliliters is quite nice, you can fill up your pens sometimes. This only takes, the Visconti one only takes 6 milliliters, but I would say that would be enough also for a couple of fills, because sometimes we're talking 2 milliliters is uh, often too much for almost any pen. Let me take all this stuff out. One thing I was talking about was the, the little uh, eyedroppers of pipettes. For filling these inkwells, I would say that the pipette... Sorry, <laughs> it has a very narrow base. I will put them there. For this one, I would say this pipette takes more ink and it is easier to fill that one than to fill the Visconti with the glass one, but this sure looks nicer and I'm sure this will survive for a longer time than that one. But it's just a little eyedropper. You will not carry that with you when you're traveling, you're just taking the inkwells. Now, one thing I told you is the box of the Visconti is just for buying the pen. On the pin either it has a function because it has the holes that show you which pens will fit. They should not fit here and they have to fit there. If they are in this range they will fit in your bottle. So what we are talking about is for both of them they both take pens like the uh, Montblanc 149, which is a big pen, and I believe that this one can go a little bit further. I'm not sure if this can go wider than a Montblanc 149, but I don't have a bigger pen to try it with, so we just, we, we just keep on that. Then, another thing that I have to say is that both, any of the bow of both can have 
a small pen like a Caveco Lilliput, for example. But for a larger pen, uh, even small but a little bit larger, this one can't hold a Caveco Dia, but this one can. So this can go a little bit, this can go for some narrower pens, which may be nice. About the construction, this is very plasticky, it looks cheaper, and it is cheaper, it's 20 euros, this is 55, and this one has a, most, a more it's nicely made, at least in the looks. It has resin here, transparent resin there, metal there, and then a cap. About the caps, they are quite similar. This one, you can take out the cap, and you can fill the pen. That one, the same thing. You may wonder why are these just pull, uh, push in caps? Aren't you afraid that ink goes up? It goes away. I was at first, but it doesn't really happen, so there's no problem with that. This made this sound because I was playing with it and feeling it, and it had ink inside the neck, so it shouldn't. But if you do it correctly, it will not have, and there's no problem with it. So, just to, to, to explain that, they both perform nicely. This one has a little compartment on the cap that allows for some absorbent material if you want to clean anything, but comes empty. This one also has the same compartment on the cap and has a little cotton thing that allows you to clean the pen or something like that in an emergency. Then, this one only takes the cap off and you can't do anything else to clean it. This one you can completely dismantle it to clean. Both of them, the, both of them can fill converter pens, so if you have a cartridge converter pen you can fill it with these these, both of these bottles, you can fill, for example, a Parker Centennial Fold. It will fit perfectly and you can fill it as long as you are using not a cartridge, <laughs> I thought there was a converter here, but the converter, so you can use it. Or you can use it and it's where you take the best of these little bottles is to fill piston fillers, because you can have a full fill and vac fillers and you can also have a very full fill out of both of these two. One feature that the pin either one has that the Visconti doesn't is that this cap screws more or less tightening the interior of the the neck of the, of the bottle and making the pen more snugly inside. So it is nicer if you are afraid of the safety of the procedure, if you are afraid to have some ink splashing out. But when you're talking about pen cases and carrying your inkwells, the Visconti fits perfectly on pen pouches, but the pin either doesn't. It does, but it becomes too fat and the pens are not as protected anymore. And if you have a hard case for putting these, it will not be that easy to carry them. So this one has more a pen shape and size than that one. This is to carry on your suitcase, this one is to carry on your pen pouch. So two different things, two different um, ink capacities, the same function, very different prices. For the price of this one you can buy two of those. So. The, the choice, it's up to you. It depends on what you want and 
also on how many you want to have. Maybe you want to have several of them with several link colors and to change them. In the end, I hope you know what you were buying when you're choosing one or another. And I thought this kind of comparison would be useful. In these versus videos, I'm not saying this one is better than that one or the other way around. I'm just saying that this one has some advantages and this one has others. So it depends on what is better for you. So think about it. And if you have any questions, please ask me. If I can answer you, I will. And this is, I hope this was helpful for choosing which inkwell you will buy for your traveling activities. Both of them, in terms of performance, did perfectly. I had no problems, no one of them leaking anything. So, choose wisely. This is all I had to show you today. I thank you for watching my videos and I see you next time. Bye.